meeting of May 12th to 2020. And I'm gonna go ahead and ask uh, for the invocation. Uh, Robert, can you do that for us, please? All right. Father God, we thank you for this day, God. We thank you and ask you to continue to bless and bless our community, bless our families, Lord. Bless all of us, Lord, as we go through this uh, pandemic and uh, continue to watch over our first responders, and especially, Father God, our Jeffersonville Police Department, be with them, watch over them, be with the administration, be with all the officers that work for them, Lord. Give them uh, protection and uh, let them know they appreciate it, appreciate it and also protect their families. Keep them safe. Keep them in perfect peace, Father God, that only you can do. And God, we ask you to bless all of our families. We all have someone we know that's probably been sick or has died or has caught this virus or maybe even recovered. God, help us to just understand that you are in control and that only you can stop the world like this. So God, we trust you and honor you. And God, we know you'll be the one who will heal us all, heal us and get us back to whatever the new normal will be. God, watch over this merit board, help us to make the right decisions today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank, you. Thank you very much. Uh, Madam Secretary, you want to do roll call? All right, I'll go ahead and do a roll call since I'm you're on. I'm such a habit asking her to do it. Jeremy Snelling. Present. Robert, <laughs> Robert Campbell. I'm here. <laughs> Bonnie Depper. Scott Aldridge. Here. Yes. Betty Parker, he's here, yes, and Bobby and I are here. Everybody's okay, here. we've got it 100%. All righty. Uh, first action we're going to take is approval of the minutes from the last meeting, April 14. Did everybody have a chance to review those? Just did. Okay. Do I have a motion to accept them? I'll make the motion. Okay, I got a motion by Scott. Do I I'll have a say. second? I'll second. Second by Robert. All in favor say aye. aye. Aye, and please raise your hand. Opposed? Motion carries. Oh, I meant my hand raise was for aye. I was on a lag. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Old business. There was none to put on the agenda. Um, new business. <laughs> no, go ahead. Okay. Uh, new business. Uh, Assistant Chief or Chief, you want to address that? Chief, you want me to go ahead or? Go ahead. Okay, uh, I believe the first item of business is the uh, promotion process. Do you have that? President? Yes. Okay. Uh, yes. So <clears throat> the Chief, uh, according to, and I know we have to go through the process, but uh, according to the uh, promotion rules, uh, the first promotion would be for Detective Patrolman Sa Justin Salisbury to be promoted to the uh, rank of corporal. And I believe the date is May the 16th, effective. And I know that we have to read the three names and go through that process, but that's what uh, that would be our first uh, request. Patty, Patty, if you'd like to go ahead and present the uh, names for the official record. Okay. The first group of names would be number six, Justin Southbury. Number seven would be Jeff Gordon. And number eight would be Josh Le Lebron. 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 Yes. Lebron. Lebron. Okay. Do I have a motion? to accept the uh, recommendation from the chief, assistant chief for Justin Salisbury to the rank of corporal. I'll make that motion. Okay, we got I'll a motion by second. Okay, and I'll second, I had turned on. Okay, so Buddy, you made a motion? Yes. Sir. And then second by Scott. Wow, what's that noise? I think, um, I don't know. It's feedback. If somebody's in the room with uh, that's called in or has their phone operating, along with the speaker system from your iPad or computer, it'll it'll do that. So, okay. All right. So, uh, again, just to recap, we have a motion to. That better? Yeah, that's working a little bit better. For Justin Salisbury to the promotion rank of patrol from patrolman to corporal. 
and I have first, second, can I have a favor? I'll say I please and raise their hand. Uh, Opposed? Okay, see no opposition, motion carries, 5-0. All right, second. On the second item for our second um, promotion under item number one would be the promotion of patrolman Jeff Gordon from the rank of patrolman to the rank of corporal. And again, I'll let uh, Patty supply the three names from the list and we submit the name of uh, patrolman Jeff Gordon to the rank of corporal effective June 1, 2020. Uh, the second group of names would be number seven, Jeff Gordon, number eight, Josh, Moran, Moran, and number nine, Susan. Okay, do I have a motion? I'll make a motion to uh, promote. I'll okay. second. I've got a motion by Scott to promote Patrolman Jeff Gordon to the rank of Corporal and second by Robert Campbell. All in favor say aye and please raise your hand. Make a motion, Scott. Yeah. Opposed? Motion carries, five of us. Commissioners, thank you. Thank you, Chief. Okay. I'm just letting our secretary catch up just a little bit real quick. Okay. All right, next uh, would be uh, selection of dates for the oral interviews to be conducted on, at the station, also in a social distancing manner. Uh, Assistant Chief, do you wanna address that? Yes, uh, so uh, we're going through the experience hiring process, which ends May, this Friday, May the 15th at noon. Um, so we'll have to submit the uh, dates for the oral interview sessions. Currently, um, as of right now, I have a total of 21 applicants. However, I've gone through some of the applications and there are at least four that don't meet the criteria. Uh, we don't have the ability to reject applicants if they don't have the proper experience or they don't meet the qualifications. So we have to take their application and then notify them, which I'll do on Friday, that they don't either have the, uh, the qualifications uh, for this, this process. That being said is uh, I intend on May 22 and May 23 to hold the physical agility test, which is also part of the process. Um, <clears throat> and in, a, in the order to keep the process rolling, we would host the oral interview sessions here on station. Um, and I will handle and manage the social distancing of candidates as well as the uh, American Commission members who arrive on station. Um, there's a certain protocol that we have as far as uh, outside visitors coming into the building, uh, but we just need to select those dates uh, that are convenient for you all. Uh, I'm available any day or night, obviously, to, to do this, but uh, we're trying to, again, with the current conditions of the pandemic, we're trying to keep things moving as best as possible um, uh, for the process. So I, I would predict, I would probably project uh, 20 to 25 candidates which normally for us would be a, a three night process. If we have less, we could always uh, uh, scrap a day and, and try to combine two. Um, but you know, we normally plan on the 30 minute sessions for, uh, and we can start those whenever, whenever you like. Um, but like I said, the target date for the physical agility test is May 22 and 23rd. So you're thinking at least what a week to two weeks after the agility tests or you think the following week would be fine? Yes, generally there's at least a week in between mm -hmm. to give people enough prep time uh, depending on the distance that they live from the department to be able to, to make arrangements. Um, so I know there's a holiday week there, um, which actually we're doing the agility test on that holiday weekend. 22 and 23 because Memorial Day is the 25th. So, okay. you know, if you were looking at June the one as a Monday, that would that would be perfect. Um, first, second, and third. If we have less candidates, we can scrap the third, and I can schedule everybody the first and second. Um, it's just based on your availability as a commission. 
So preferably uh, coming behind uh, Assistant Chief McVoy to you as a commission, I would ask if you have the availability looking through the week of June 1st through the 5th. Um, again, that's tentative upon your schedule as commissioner. I'm good with the first week of June, any night, uh, any evening, say from 5 p.m. on that first week. Okay. Uh, I am too. Robert, you are? What about yeah. you, buddy? I'm fine. Okay. Scott? Scott's on the phone. <laughs> How about Bonnie? As far as I know, I'm on my phone, so I can't see, but I should be okay. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and say uh, everybody's I'm okay. I'm to the boss now, and I'm going to be, we'll be okay that first week of June. Okay. You're good. okay. So it sounds like everybody right now is good with that. Um, you all want to go ahead and just do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. That way, if Wednesday does isn't needed, or would you prefer Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday? Okay. Let's say, uh, just in case something should happen over the weekend, let's let's do Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, which would be June second, third, and fourth. Yes. And uh, time wise. Do you want to do our normal? What we usually do was at five thirty to to nine. Yeah, five to nine, five thirty to nine thirty is fine. Yeah, and then if we can scrap the last day, we'll scrap it, like Assistant Chief said. Yeah, I'll, I'll uh, know the exact numbers by Friday. I'll be working on that Friday afternoon as far as uh, eligibility for for the next step in the process to take the physical agility test. So you'll you'll probably before that date know exactly how many we have, what the, I'll, I'll build the schedule for you all. Um, and then also we have to take into consideration too, and this always happens in, in my experience that there's always um, some candidates who may not be able to pass the physical agility test. So that will lessen the pool. Uh, again, in my experience, we always have two or three that um, don't, don't pass the test. So uh, again, I, I hope for as many candidates as possible. That's the goal is to bring in the, uh, the best candidates and the best group of candidates to, to choose from. But um, to be realistic, you know, I, I think we're going to fall with it around the 20, the 20 number. And a lot of people wait till the last couple of days to submit their applications for whatever reasons, um, as long as they're in by noon on the, on the May the 15th. So I would say by that 20, May 26, I'll have a lot more information as far as where we're at candidate wise. All right. I will Sounds be working good. on Memorial Day, so you'll get the information. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't see any other new business, so let's go ahead and move on to our claims. My first what claim. To, uh, what about the update on we go get a – did y'all take it off the agenda? Yes. yes. Okay. 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 Yeah, a, a more recent agenda should have came out uh, with that removed. It is. I just want to make sure I see it removed. Yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, all right. Back to claims. We've got an invoice 2020-05 and it is for $100 for our secretary. Do I have a motion to pay the claim? So moved. Okay. Second. Second by Scott. All in favor say aye and please raise your hand. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries five zero. All right, the next one I have is for Bob Budoff, our attorney. Looks like it's for invoice zero zero five five seven for the amount of $690. And uh, do I have a motion to pay our attorney? So moved. Okay, I have a motion by Buddy. Do I have a second? Second by Bonnie. All in favor, please say aye and raise your hand. Aye. Uh, carries five zero. And then I have one more. I have, uh, looks like Indiana Media Group. It's for advertising. Oh, it's for, I was told it was for advertisement. I'm trying to find the invoice number real quick. It's right here. Okay. It's one eight two eight three zero. And it is for the amount of $1,853.76. Is that, 
Oh, yeah, no. Look at the tongue right there. Oh, yeah, I apologize. I see it down here. I have that was a combination. Uh, actually, the amount is seven hundred nine dollars and ninety two cents. That's why I put it down. Robert. Do I have a motion to pay this bill? So moved. Seconded. And Robert, and then a second by Scott. All in favor, say aye. Please raise your hand. All right. Motion carries five zero. Let's see. I also have your claims in all those areas. Oh, okay. Let me. Uh, Okay. Our attorney's talking to us real quick. Uh, he was emailed uh, all our paperwork and stuff today. He's printing off to get it to us uh, that we normally get our regular meeting, which would be the voucher. Uh, again, I will sign my name and then put present on all of you all's names. That way we don't have to worry about getting signatures from you all. Here is the expenditure report. Okay, I've got the expenditure report here. Is there any questions? If not, let's it's move on. forward. That's Scott. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, if you would forward the expense report to me. Okay. That is another report. I don't. I printed this, but it did not print. So hold on. Okay. Yeah, I'll get all this forwarded to you, Scott, so you have it for your records. Thank you. Good review things. There weren't any additional claims, was there? No, it was just the voucher. Just the vouchers? Okay. All right. Again, like I said, I'll sign the voucher for all of us. Um, seeing that, does anybody have anything they would like to speak about or bring up today? I just uh, I want to compliment the police department, um, I guess. Last week or two weeks ago, I was down here after midnight and somebody stole my bicycle off the back of my Jeep <laughs> while I was out here. And uh, bottom line is they caught him. Um, the good news, and I was there, but the good news is he was, he was bringing it back because he felt guilty. <laughs> well, Scott has always got a bad joke. Can I say, does that make you Pee Wee Herman? Cause you had your bike stolen. Yeah. yeah, my bicycle. It was a nice bike too, and I gave up on it. But uh, ran in. I started looking myself and ran yeah. into them. I was down at the bridge and told them. They said, "Well, you've got to call it in." So I called it in, and then when we got back here, we saw him riding on Court Avenue. <laughs> Rode right back to the scene of crime. <laughs> and he went to hide behind a a a, a, um, a tobacco, but. He was bringing it back. He, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely was. Wasn't he? Well, great job to the JPD, like always. Mm -hmm. I said, and somebody had awesome. him pulled over and let him go. So he would have been the one that nabbed him, but instead it was uh, love. So he well, got love <sighs> Well, thank you, Chief, Assistant Chief. Please tell the guys and ladies again how appreciative we are with the department. Uh, we'll do. I feel always we have a first class department and uh, I think uh, the right leadership's in the helm that continues to keep it that way. So thank you very much. We appreciate that. Thank We're you. proud of you. Well, thank you. I, I'd like to just share a, a bit. We've had a, uh, an active week here the last uh, uh, several days, but we've had some uh, things that's happened to occur. And I want to say that our officers um, have responded to uh, more than one scene also being assisted by Jefferson Fire Department, and we have performed life-saving efforts, and we've made a difference to uh, help those in our community in need, and it's been, uh, like I said, life-saving. So I want to compliment our officers on the job they're doing, especially right now during this unprecedented time, but uh, everyone working together, Jefferson Fire Department as a team, to uh, be able to provide the service to the community as they uh, call upon us to do so. So thank you very much, and we appreciate what you do as commissioners. Uh, given your time and your stewardship uh, to support the Jefferson Police Department and uh, as commissioners of the Police Merit Commission. So thank you very much, uh, Mr. Buttoff, as well. Thank you. Thanks, Chief. Thank you, Hi, Chief. Chief. Uh, before uh, I ask for a adjourn, the only thing I was going to say, I had gone through all my emails, uh, but Assistant Chief, you had asked, I think, in one of the emails about the signature page on our amendment. Uh, I'd ask, so we got uh, we got it correct. According uh, and and I should have known this uh, with my uh, council stuff was uh, according to the governor's executive orders, the only signature that's required is yours and uh, Mr. Buttoff uh, 
duly informed me of that. I should have known, so my apologies. But I, I was just oh, no making problem. sure before make I put sure. it out. We're all on the same page, like always. That's all that matters. So I have one one thing to reflect. Um, I think it's Commissioner Aldridge, or I'm not sure, Commissioner Aldridge or, or President Snelling, the questions for the interview. Oh, yeah. Um, I was going to bring that up. I'll have them with me if there's anything. Okay. Uh, you all want to add? I meant to bring that up uh, before we yeah, voted, yeah. but um, in our in the scoring uh, scoring sheet, we'll give you the number of uh, candidates as well. Yeah, I'll bring okay. them out. Sarah's got them on uh, saved on word processor, and I'll I can circulate the questions to the board members and see if we want to tweak any of them. They're generic enough I think, that we can use most of them. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Chief. Yeah, let's four minutes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, seeing nothing else, do I have a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion. Okay, I got a motion by Bonnie to adjourn. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Buddy. All in favor, please raise your hands. And say aye. Aye. All right. Motion carries five zero. Everybody, continue to be safe. And if you ever need anything, please don't hesitate to call me. Good seeing y'all. Thank you. Thank yeah. you all very Thank much. Thank you. And, uh,